Okay, so the problem is to calculate the second derivative of f of x equal to x over x squared plus 1. Okay, so first, there's some things we need to know. Uh, one of these is the quotient rule, uh, which is written right here. Please take some time to memorize this. And the uh, chain rule, which is a little bit more complicated. And there's a Wikipedia article that you should really definitely take a look at. Um, because or you can take a look at it in any textbook uh, because that one becomes really helpful as well alright so let's move on uh, first thing we need to do is define g of x g of x is x up here so and h of x is x squared plus one and uh, g prime of x derivative of x is just one each prime of x is 2x. Right. So now we're going to apply the quotient rule. So uh, g prime of x was 1. Uh, I don't think we need to write that. h of x is x squared plus 1. So it's the first term here. x squared plus 1 minus g of x is x and uh, h prime of x is 2x so multiply 2x over h of x squared and that is x squared plus 1 whole squared okay uh, now we get to simplify this. This is uh, the first derivative, of course, so f prime of x. Um, and, but we're looking for the second derivative, f double prime. So let's simplify this first before we continue. Um, x squared plus 1 minus, we can combine the x's to get 2x squared over x squared plus 1 whole squared. Right, and then uh, we have x squared here and a minus 2x squared there. So this becomes 1 minus x squared over x squared plus 1 squared. All right now we're going to uh, differentiate once again. So as to find g of x, g of x being the top uh, factor here is 1 minus x squared, so. And then h of x is x squared plus 1 whole squared. And then g prime of x is minus 2x. And h prime of x is now using the chain rule, <coughs> excuse me, 2 times uh, x squared plus 1. And now we differentiate the inside times 2x. Right. Now we're going to apply the quotient rule once again. Uh, g prime of x is minus 2x. And then h of x is x squared. x squared plus 1. Whole squared. And then minus g of x, which is 1 minus x squared. Uh, 
and then h prime of x is two x squared plus one. Two times x squared plus one times two x. over h of x squared. So that's going to be x squared plus 1 to the fourth power. Uh, and I think you should just leave the problem like that, uh, the solution like that, because uh, unless your professor tells you to simplify, 